Happy New Year's, Ghost Gang. 2022 is gonna be great. Here's to a brand new year and the best year for Twin Paranormal. We had investigated so many great locations, but nothing as good as the Queen Anne Hotel. It is time to start 2022 off right. Welcome to season two. The light, the light just turned on. To the left, to the left. That was green. Just thought about what Mary just came here. Mary oh, just came shit. here. Pretty much, we just put this camera up right now while he's in Starbucks getting us some coffee it's just to talk shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sandwich. <laughs> hey! Stop. Oh my god! What? In 1889, Mary Lake had started a private boarding school for girls. She had dreamed of a lavish space that would lure the city's richest daughters to her door. And in 1890, that dream had come true. Moving to a custom-built building that held 31 rooms, a dining room, and a massive library, all in a Queen Anne-style mansion. Mm -hmm. 
Although Mary was very well off, this was quite a bit for her to handle. And this is where James Fair comes into the picture. He was an Irish immigrant who had made his fortune off of the Comstock load and railroad investments, becoming one of the richest men in the world at the time. James was very notorious and unpopular among men, often described as ruthless and a womanizer. He had been in many scandalous affairs throughout his life until eventually dying in 1894. There were even rumors of Mary having an affair with James, but nobody can actually confirm that. And just two years later, the last class would graduate from the Lake Seminary. Unfortunately, the school was not able to survive the economic crash in 1896. And so Mary had decided to sell everything she could to move to New Jersey, where she had died on her 55th birthday. Spring will come, spring will come, with squirrels on the run. Now enough about history, let's get into the spookier side of this hotel. And to start off, Mary Lake is said to haunt the very building that was once her life's dream, although she is said to be a very kind spirit. Rumor has it she likes to unpack people's belongings, move their things around the rooms, and even tuck some people in at nighttime, almost like she's still taking care of the girls that used to attend her boarding school. are some other spirits that are said to reside at the Queen Anne Hotel, but no one has ever been able to confirm who they are or why they're still there. Some people even say that the Queen Anne Hotel itself is just a huge portal for spirits to come and go as they please. Now we're about to drive through a blizzard all the way to San Francisco to find out who still resides inside the Queen Anne Hotel. So here we go. Okay, I know you've already seen us three walking around this hotel. Now, we are to the understanding that this used to be an all-girls school, and each and every one of these rooms were private rooms for the women who had stayed here and who had went to school here. I'd like to properly introduce all three of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. And my name is River. Now, if there is anybody here, hopefully we can get in contact with Mary, because that's who we're here for. Mary Lake, are you here? Can you maybe give us a sign that you are here? Make a noise for us? So what's really weird is as soon as we were like, we were going from room to room. Right now we're in room 404, and everywhere we've been going, We've heard like noises, almost as if Mary has been following us the whole time because she knows what we're up to. <laughs> I swear she knows what we're up to. And that's exactly that's exactly what I was talking about. I was walking down the hall because I just put a camera in room four ten. That's her room. I put a camera in room four ten and I was walking down the hall, dude. I turned around and I swear. I swear that somebody was falling right behind me. Oh yeah, and he had the Polaroid and he turns around and tried yeah. to take a picture. I was right in here and I was grabbing the Polaroid camera trying to get to room 306, but I was in here grabbing the Polaroid camera and I hear something like, sounded like that, exactly. Yeah, and I was like, what? <laughs> and so I literally turned around and I <laughs> took, a, <laughs> I took <laughs> a quick photo. I didn't catch anything, I, I don't think. I'd have to really look close at it, but I thought I'd catch something. <laughs> because it was that was so prominent. Okay, Mary, I have this object here in my hand, and what this object does, I'm sure you've seen it before, but I'm going to explain what this object does. This object will pick up your electric magnetic energy, so the energy that you do produce, and the stronger you are, the higher these lights will light up. Now, if you could come and hold on to one of these objects, because I have two of them. I have one here in my hand, and I set one here on the corner. If you could please show us by making at least one of them go off, that would be great. That'll let us know that you are indeed here with us right now. 
We're just looking for any sign from you. And we'd like to talk to you. We'd like to get your story. Should we go towards where we were hearing the noise? Yeah, I think so. We're gonna sit here on this bed and try to see if you can maybe, maybe get comfortable with us enough to sit here with us if you can. That'd be great. Now, if you could give us a sign, I'm gonna lay this right here. We're just looking for you. That's all. We've been hearing you behind us and around in the room as well. Right as you said that. So is that you right there? Can you do that again, please? Footsteps. That was footsteps. Was that? That was prominent. Those were footsteps. That's in that room. What was that? That sounded like the camera. Mary? Or, if there is anybody else in here, this place is very old. Damn it, I somebody that. else. So Can you do that again? In his hand, though? We just want to talk with you. Get your story. If there's anything you wanted to say. This little box here, in my hand. Did you? Yeah. Mind you guys, nobody's staying on the fourth floor. Nobody's on the fourth floor right now. So I heard that, and I just heard like some knock on the wall right there. Oh, there it goes. There it went. Did you get that? Mm-hmm. I got it. Thank you. Is this not Mary? Is this somebody else? Give us a sign. Use your energy. Well, we have these little batteries, these little boxes all around the rooms. You can use and suck the energy out of those. All of that is free to use so that you can build as much power as you can to speak with us. That would be great. We're really trying to have a conversation with you and just get some information from you if that's possible. There's a knock in there. Whoever is in here, we're not here to hurt you. Will you come in here and talk with us? Yeah, there's somebody in there. We can hear you. Please continue to make this object go off. I kind of want to set the pyramid right there on the floor. I do too. And see if anyone's in there. I don't know if it will do any interference though. What? What's that? I just heard. When this place was a school, right? Yeah. Uh, right now, what is it? It's almost like one in the morning. Oh my god. Right now would be lights out time. Quiet time. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I have the fattest chills right now. I just got exactly what you are going to yeah. say before you even said it because that was f***ing creepy. Yeah, right now they'd, they'd be going to bed. Are you willing to maybe do something here? Are you willing to maybe do something here? <gasps> What? What was that? Dude, it was literally this. But on something else, it wasn't the desk. The desk. It's the only thing out there. So you're willing to do something here for us? Tell me, dude, there's somebody in here. I'm gonna explain. Okay, this object. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it on the ground. Now each side will detect which side you were on, or we like to use it as a yes, no answer. So if we ask you a question, you can use it to answer 
a question with a yes or a no. How you can do that is each side has a different color. One side is green for a yes and the other side is red for a no. So I'm going to go ahead and set it down and I'll demonstrate real quick on how to use it. So what you're going to do is you're either going to come to either side. You don't need to put your hand in front of it. You can just walk on one of the sides. Whoever is in here, you just let us know if you are here by showing us which side you're on. So if you stand on this side, this is green and that's a yes. Or you can just stand on this side to show us that you're in here where we're hearing all the knocks. Wait, where was that? Right here. Oh, guys, <laughs> yours ticked and mine just ticked. Are you behind us? Oh. Did yours just go off? I heard it. Nothing from those. Okay, let me finish this. Or you could go on the red side. You can stand there. Or you can answer with a no if we ask a question. Now, if you can, please show us that you're there, okay? I'm gonna walk away from it, I'm gonna go back to the bed, and we're just gonna let you do whatever you'd like to do. Okay, so we're gonna sit right here. Whoever this is in here, please show us what side you are on, green or red. You just go to either or side. And that'll indicate what side you're on for now. Just please show us what side you're on so that we can find out if you're in that room over there or in here with us. Did you feel that? Yeah. Who's in here? Is it a little girl? Is this not Mary? You know what they can do? Mm -hmm. They might be like almost afraid of us. Like they, they could totally just be afraid of us. These were private bedrooms, so they could be like, why is there three dudes in my room right now? Right. Do you think they could have shushed because they're like, shh, hide? Maybe. Maybe. We're not going to hurt you in any way. I promise you that. We're just here to gain your trust and hopefully have a great conversation with you if that's possible. I know we may look scary to you, but we're still nice people and we're not here to get you upset in any way. Did that just go off? Someone is here, but it's like they're just kind of sitting here watching us, I uh -huh. think. A bunch of noises, definitely. Um. This place too is famous for um, people's stuff getting unpacked and like their things being moved around. Like their luggage really? completely unpacked when they weren't in the room. They could just be checking out all of our stuff. That's like true. all those noises. Mm -hmm. Dude, what? It's going, it's going. Can you please continue to do that? Oh my God. Hello. You just came close and you stood right there. I don't know if you just moved that way, but you, hey, stay with us, please. This is awesome. We're very, very happy to meet you. Wait, was that you? That was not you. River isn't moving. No, no, that shit. was not. Did you just make that noise? Put your elbow back on there. It's on there. Put some pressure on it. That was not him. And he was the only one with anything on wood, and it sounded like wood creaking. Mm -hmm. I thought it was that. What the f dude? It sounds like heavy. In the hallway. Yeah, like heavy boots. Oh, that was it. That, did you just hear it? That was creaking again. But over there. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you did you just get yeah, at least I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> at least I caught it. I totally did. I almost just <laughs> threw it at you. Can you make the green side go off? Just walk on the other side, please. No, they're in here. I was right in here. Is that the door? Yeah. Sounds like knocking on the door. Where I just heard that. Can we try something, please? This object here, if you come in here, or if you are in here, this should pick up your voice. Is that possible? Can we give that a shot, please? So yes. Okay, we're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna set it right there on the edge of the bed, okay? All you need to do, lean down and talk right into this piece. Just try as hard as you can, please, if you can. Is there somebody in this room with us right now? If there is, what is your name? How many are in here with us? Is it just one? Are you scared of us? It was really weird. After the last time the EMF spiked, I just got like the gnarliest butterflies in my stomach. Did you really? Yeah. Okay, like, come close. Is there somebody in this room with us right now? If there is, what is your name? I don't know. Uh, the third question, I thought, I heard someone just go, yep. I'm gonna record one more time. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go over those, and if we caught something, then we caught something. Yeah. We're gonna try this one more time, okay? Please, try as, as best as you can. Are you in here with us, right now? Were you one of Mary's students? Is she really still around, like everyone says? Whoever can hear me, why are you still here? Whoever just touched this, speak into that one there on the bed. Anything you want to say. That was it. There was a. There was a. Did you hear it? Yeah, that's what the first one sounded like. Again. Whoever can hear me, why are you still here? Whoever just touched this, speak into that one there on the bed. Anything you want to say? I know for sure we got a. Yeah. And it was a girl. Green! Green! That was green. So you did say yeah. Thank you for answering our question right there. If you don't mind, we're gonna make our way over to Mary's room. We're gonna go to room 410. We heard that's where she always is, and sometimes she's in the hallway as well. But we'd like to try and talk to her. If maybe you see her, can you please let her know? That was a loud pound. Mm -hmm. Sounded like a wall. 
Please give us a sign if that's okay. If you don't think it's okay, you let us know. Dude, this is kind of like super creepy in here. Oh, dude. It's like they're just in corners. I don't know what corners. that was, and you're right, dude. I'm like, well, yeah. look, my arm is just starting to go. Yeah. I practically threw the EMF. Yeah. I'm getting a little creeped out in this room. Please make that green if it's okay if we can go. Use your energy. Just take whatever energy you need. <laughs> Did you get that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. You standing right next to Wyatt? Can you spike this? Silent. You heard earlier someone shushed you. Oh, that's right. Is it quiet time? Somebody's probably trying to sleep. Doesn't want to get in trouble. That makes so much sense. Are we right? You can say yes, I'll let you go to bed. Those are just stepping in there. We're gonna leave, okay? We're gonna let you rest. So you don't get in trouble. Is that okay? Happy. <laughs> Is that what you want? We can do that. Green. Okay guys, let's make our way to room 410. See if we can talk to Mary, because that's the goal. Okay, Mary Lake. I know you've seen us already in here. I don't know who we are talking to in room 404, but we are in your room because we've heard stories that you are still around here. And we'd like to get some confirmation if that's possible. But before that, I'd like to introduce all three of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. My name is River. Now I have this object here in my hand that'll show us that you are here. There's also one that Wyatt set over there on your bed. We're just trying to find out if you're in here. What do you smell? Oh, no. Uh, it smells like lilac. The perfume's back. The perfume's back. Oh, that's strong. Yeah, very strong. Mary, we have this object here. It plays music if you stand in Did you hear that really loud, babe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard something after that, too. Mary, we have this object here. It plays music if you stand in Did you hear that really loud, babe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard something after that, too. This object right here plays music if you stand in front of it. It plays this nice tune and it starts to light up as well. When I turn it on, it's gonna calibrate. It's gonna make noise. So that means nothing. That just means it's calibrating and turning on. Okay, after that, it's none of us and it's somebody standing in front of it. Okay, we're gonna be sitting right here I'm setting this object right there. Now if you can, there's one on the bed that you can hold on to. There's one right there that you can stand in front of. It'll make music. And there's one right here. You could also speak into this object here in Wyatt's hand and use your words. Whatever you'd like to say to us. It'll give us any information. Whatever you can give us. Can you please walk over here? Is it okay that we're in your room? If it's not, please let us know. But if it is, we really hope that you can speak with us. Oh, that was super loud. If there's anybody in here that isn't Mary, will you go get her for us, please? We need to talk to her. That one just went on. Did it? Please do that. Thank you so much. Nothing here. All there. Are you on the bed right now? Is that you? <laughs> that was red twice. It was red twice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please hold on to that. If you hold on to that, that'll let us know that you can hear us. That's what we're looking for. 
Did that sound like the bed squeaking? Like I said, it'll let us know if you can hear us. That blinked. Hold on to it. Attractive. Ooh. Who's attractive? If this is Mary, she thinks one of us is attractive. <laughs> so look good, okay? Be on your best behavior. Oh, yeah, super loud. <laughs> you hear me, Mary? You know what's even worse? My hair's different now, but the guy that she supposedly had an affair with was Irish. <gasps> really? Yeah. Are you talking about Wyatt? You saying he's attractive? Do you want one of us to go onto the bed? Are you waiting for one of us? Flashing. <gasps> What? I, I don't think that was me. I don't think that was me. Can't is it? No. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Hi. Thank you so much. That was very, very cool. That was really cool. Thank you. Maybe you can stand in front of that a little longer. We'd really appreciate that. Mary, do you like us, by any chance? Is that what you were trying to say? That just went off. <laughs> Did you just say yes? I can try this other really cool method for you to show us that you're here. Dude, I'm getting such a weird feeling that somebody is next to me. <laughs> I, I told you somebody is next to me. Somebody is like walking right here. I can, I can envision. It's not me. <gasps> Holy shit. I just got the chill so bad. I did too. Thank you. Please, please walk away from that. Stand away from that. I can't. Stand away from it, please. Please, stand away. Thank you so much. Thank you for moving away from that. <laughs> You're awesome. So there's somebody else in here. How old is the person that is right over here? Can you give us a number? How old you are? Did anybody just hear that knock on the wall? Sixteen. You're just sixteen. So there's a sixteen year old right here? Oh my god, dude. Thank you. You know when you get really excited and your adrenaline and your heart starts pumping? I literally have adrenaline right now. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. Can I try something else? Make that tick once real quick if you're willing to try my idea. Did you Please. Shush. Shush. And it ticked. It said shush. In the other room, I was shushed. I'm gonna try it. The flashlight method. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this different method. I'm gonna turn this off for now. Okay? Don't worry. If you want me to turn it back on, I'll be more than happy to do that. So this is pretty much the same thing. But you need to use all the energy that you can manifest. Everything that you have, that just went off. Did it? Yeah, EMF meter just spiked all the way to uh, orange. Right under red. I'm gonna set a flashlight right here, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to turn it on. If you can turn it on, that's gonna show us. 
that you have a lot of power and that you are indeed here with us. We're trying all these different methods right now. Don't be nervous, it's okay. We're just trying to make sure that this is you, okay? We're also trying to talk to Mary, but right now I feel like we're talking to the 16-year-old and Mary might be laying right there, maybe? Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this flashlight here and I want you to turn it on. If it's the 16-year-old or Mary, Okay, we're gonna go sit right back down. We're gonna get away from you. And I'd like for you to try and use your energy to turn that flashlight on, okay? Go up to it and just turn it on, please. We're gonna sit here and wait for you to do so. Use all the energy that you have, everything that you Oh, thank you. Thank you, can you turn it brighter? What is your name so that we can call you by the right name? Patty. Patty. Is your name Patty? Did it go? Oh, we just said Patty and it flickered and went Phew. Yes, Patty. Hi, Patty. 16 years old, your name is Patty. Hi. Thank you for being comfortable with us, and thank you for speaking to us. Yes, it's me. Patty. And then it just got brighter. Dude, I'm so chilled up right now. <laughs> what do you guys think? Estes method? You think you want to try Estes? I'd like to give it a shot. We can talk to Patty, see if Mary is Who here. Who are you? I'm Ryan. That's River, and that's Wyatt. I know you might not be asking for our names. We're just a couple of guys here to speak with anybody. You know what I just thought about? What? Mary just came here. Mary oh, just came shit. here. Oh, shit. We're a couple of guys just trying to talk to you, Mary. That's all. We are talking to Patty. Anna. Bro, my arms. <laughs> Mary, we're in your room because we're trying to speak with you. I think Mary just came in her room and busted Patty. Anna. Creepy. It's not Patty, it's Anna. No, I think Patty was here and Anna came in. I think Anna's who... Who, who is, just said, who are you? Literally. Maybe. Is that true? Is this Anna? I've literally never gotten a name back to back. No, the same name never. Ever. Not in a row. Child. <laughs> this is so cool. We're talking to the, the girls that used to go to school here. I'm going to try a method called the Estes method. I put a blindfold over my face and I use an SB7 or an SB11 and I plug headphones into it. I let it shuffle through the stations. These guys will go and ask questions and whoever is here is going to speak through the device and I will answer what they say. I'm not gonna be able to hear them at all, nor see what they're saying. So I'm gonna try and tune myself in to see if I can have anybody in here speak with me. So, we're gonna get right to it. I want you to speak to me through this object that I have. The guys are going to be asking questions. They're gonna be asking whoever is here questions, and I'd like you to answer them. Use me as your mouth. I don't know if you guys are asking yet. You guys can go ahead. Where is Mary Lake? Something I need to talk to her about. Oh, I just got Queen Anne. Who's Anna? I'm a kid. I am a kid. Anna, how old are you? Oh my god. I just had a really, really, really deep voice just say something. I don't know what it is. Evil, I'm here. What? What's your name? They're trying to scare you, that's all. Is what the, that's literally a whole sentence. It said they're trying to scare you, that's all. Move, move it around. They're kids. Hmm. 
Who's touching this box? Anna. Anna, who else is here? Besides us. Where's your teacher? Is she coming? On the way. Oh, I just got a really, really deep male voice. Anna, who's the man? Go f yourself. No way. What? I've never heard somebody cuss through this, dude. I've never heard vulgar language. That guy that she was supposed to have an affair with was a notorious asshole. No way. Yeah, the miners and shit around here hated that. I think I just had a woman just tell whoever the a man that's here that I'm just trying to talk. I want to know who that man is. I walk these halls. Oh, dude, I just got the freaking chills. And it's back. Move it around. Is that the man? Move it around. I'm back. To the left. He can't see. He can't see. The light. The light just turned on. To the left. To the left. I just felt somebody just go on the back of my neck. Uh -huh. Yeah. I f Actually really hurt. James. The light's on. Yes. The light just turned on. Did you get did you get that? I I think so. I don't know. I'm not even joking. A woman just said purple hair. Light just flickered again. What? He's kicking the bed. Mary. Ask who, ask who grabbed the back of my neck. Who grabbed Ryan's neck? <gasps> said, said broke him. Said broke him and then uh, someone else went, Ryan. What? Is that his name? I have one final question. I want to know that man's name. Said he can hurt you. That's who grabbed your neck. Had to have been. Yeah. What? 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 He goes, yeah. Yes. No <laughs> way. Yes, dude. That's what happened to me. That's what happened. Dude, now I feel it. I got the chicken. Now I get it. We don't want any problems. You have no permission to harm us in any way. I want to put those back on and finish that. You finish talking to Mary. I just want to say thank you. Now, whoever is evil here, you have no permission. No permission to follow us, no permission to attach to us, and no permission to harm us. Mary, if you are in here, thank you. Thank you for contacting us and thank you for talking to us. And the girls, if you are still here, Patty and Anna, thank you for speaking with us. We're gonna leave this room right now and we're gonna make our way down to room 306 and we're gonna finish up our conversation down there. Are you coming? No, hold it, hold it right here, watch. What the f happened? I, I what just f happened? Did okay, we're leaving. We're done. That got that was f creepy as shit. Yo, That's so dope, dude. That got so hectic. Like we made a mess. That got so hectic. Yeah, it was a little messy. But that's okay, we know somebody's here. And then whoever the man is, with it, that came out of nowhere. Every time we've ever done this before, Ryan's the one with the headphones on. I wanted to try it. The way he explains that guy's voice, there's no 
no better way to explain it. It's literally just gurgly and deep. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move on to room 306. We're going to stop filming with that, and we're going to go all lights out. We're going to finish up our investigation there. So, let's go night vision. It's not plugged in. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. She had a beam in my eyes. Not even plugged in. <laughs> okay. Here, dude. It's not plugged in. What did I just plug it in? Oh. <laughs> turn the light on. Turn, wait, turn the light on. Turn the light on. Look, look what I did. It plugged into itself, bro. I plugged it into itself. <laughs> I'm like, dude, it's not plugged in. I just, I just had powerception. Dude. What if my battery just like exploded? <laughs> 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 dude. You guys gotta understand. It's three. It's almost three in the morning. We're dying. <laughs> Batteryception. We good? Yeah. You plugged in. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. I don't know if anybody did follow us down here, but we're here. If you'd like to continue to talk to us, we're trying to find out who that man is here. We saw this very, very odd altar, guys, that's on the fourth floor, and it says, in loving memory of Francis. In the very beginning, we got a lot of male names, and we also got some religious terms. That was some of our first words were something religious. Yeah. And there's a, like a, weird altar stand up there dedicated to somebody. We all looked at each other like, what if the man's name is Francis? I'm gonna go ahead and put the music box right over there, see if they can walk up to us. Okay, I'm sticking this music box, the thing that plays the music, I'm gonna stick it right here. Now, if there was anybody who did follow us down here to continue and finish our conversation, thank you. We're just looking to see if we can maybe get an answer. It would be nice to see who the man was, and if the man's name is Francis. Once again, guys, when I turn this on, it's just going to calibrate real quick, and then after that, it has nothing to do with us. I'm gonna set this object here on this bed. If you can go up to this, hold on to it. Dude, that's not me. No, you look at, look at River's distance. That's really far away. Did you just walk in front of that? Can you do that again? Yo, look at my distance. Look at this. There's no way. There's no way. Thank you. Can you hold on to one of these objects, either the one in my hand what is going on? Thank you. Please, show us a different way that you're here. Come hold on to this object or hold on to that one there on the bed. If you can do that, that proves to us that you can hear us. And you are indeed here. I want to know that my object over there doesn't have a flaw. So if you can prove right now, hold on to this one when I count to three. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> God, that was insane. Dude, what is going on, bro? Did you hear it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn that object off over there, okay? I wanna see if you can just focus on trying to make these ones light up. I also wanna bring out that. Did you get that? I got it. Thank you. I also wanna bring back that pyramid. I don't know if any of you remember it but somebody was stepping on either side to show us what side they were on. 
I'd like to bring that back out, if that's okay. What the f Was that a knock on the window? That did kind of sound like a knock on the window, yeah? on the window. That was literally this, why? No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. No, that sounded different. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this pyramid. I just put it in the middle of the floor. I'm gonna set it right here, right on the ground. And I'll demonstrate one more time. If somebody is here who doesn't know about it and doesn't know how to use it, I'll explain, I'll show how it works. So this side right here is red, if you'd like to answer with a no. This side right here is green for a yes. Now if you'd like to, you can just go ahead and stand on either side to show us which side you are standing on right now. Please show us which side you are on. Stand in front of whatever color you'd like. Maybe you're on the right side of me or you're on the left. We just want to know. Now we're not going to be here for too long. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to see who is interested enough to follow us into this room so that we can finish up our conversation. I just want to say thank you so much, by the way. If there is any chance that we can get the man's name that's here, the one with the really deep voice, we're trying to find out who that guy is. Who's in here? We know you're in here. Inside. So you are in here. What's your name? Which side are you on? We want to know, please. Use as much energy as you can. Thank you. Same side as the music box. Thank you so much. So you're on the right side of me. Hi. It's them. It's them? Yep. Who? The kids? If you can hear me, and you're standing right here, can you please go to the green side? Go to this side right here? Use your energy, like I said. You're doing a great job. Please go to the green side. I know you're standing right here. If you can hear me. Are you guys smelling it? Perfume. That smell over here. That smell that was in 410. Yeah. The same perfume smell. Mary, are you in here? Whoever is in here, please go to the green side to show us that you're here. If you need some energy, those two objects there in Wyatt and River's hands, you can use. Hold on to those and gather all the energy that you can. Do you not want to? I want to know who grabbed the back of my neck. Because when somebody... Somebody's just standing right here. I don't know, I'm getting kind of a feeling that they don't have enough power anymore. Well, if you're not going to give us any more information here, I just wanted to say thank you so much. All of you have done such a good job for us tonight. And if there is somebody evil here, standing here in this room, you have no permission to hurt the girls here, or Mary. If you are protecting them, then thank you so much for protecting them. Okay, Ghost Gang, I think we had a pretty good investigation here. And I'm very, very happy that we came to the Queen Anne Hotel. It's been a dream. Definitely, it's been a dream. Now, we did get some good stuff, you know, some I feel like we didn't really get spoken to as much. But in Mary's room, we got some very odd things that happened to us. And if you guys do search this up, most of the interactions and things that happen are in room 410. And that's Mary's room. And it did happen. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. This is a new year for us and we're about to go crazy. We're about to go to so many awesome locations and start doing some collabs with some really cool people. Hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next week. Peace.
Ryan, you just backwashed in my water. I don't want it now. Let's roll it. We got cards against you, Mammony, to play. Ow! Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 oh. That actually hurt. <laughs> he was an Irish immigrant who had made his fortune off of Comstock loads. Comstock load and. <laughs> <laughs> Just the Comstock loads. Off of the Comstock loads. <laughs> <laughs> he was an Irish immigrant who had made his fortune off of the Comstock load and railroad fortunes. Investments. Investments. <laughs> Investments, I meant. Let's just put that in. Just kidding. He was an Irish immigrant. <laughs> Come on, River, roll it, baby, we got this. He was an Irish immigrant who had made his fortune off of the rail f God f the Comstock load and railroad investments. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Becoming the most richest mother in the time. <laughs> Becoming one of the richest men at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I drink too much vodka. <laughs> uh, this is my problem. Such an easy one. <laughs> you f***ed up so bad. F*** yourself. Ready? I'm f ready, dude. I'm smoking it. I'm doing good. Often described as ruthless and a womanizer. Bad, bad man. Womanizer is like a good thing. When you're a womanizer, it just means like you... Make women fall free, right? <laughs> <laughs> you <f> idiot! <laughs> Until eventually dying in 1924. 1894. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I get that? <laughs> okay. Quit bopping my butt. <laughs> ah, Bing uh, bong. Ooh. That makes me barfy wet. Oh shit! We got changes there. <laughs> Rumor has it she likes to unsack people's <laughs> move their things around the rooms, and tuck them in at night night time. You ungrateful sons of <laughs> Now on, don't ask me or mine for nothing. <laughs> now we're about to drive, uh, now we're about to drive through a blizzard all the way to San Francisco to find out what is really going in. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>